Hey guys, Ted here. Today we're going to learn how to use Adobe Audition. Now, when I first got started learning how to use Adobe Audition, I was very puzzled with the interface itself and I was very confused what was going on when I was using the program. So it turns out I didn't really understand the difference between the waveform editor and the multi-track editor and we're here to help you break it down today. Now let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to Adobe Audition. Now today we're going to cover the difference between the waveform editor and the multi-track editor. Now my workspace may look a bit different from yours because I'm using radio production, but don't panic today. All you need to know is that the waveform editor and the multi-track editor are the two main different editing platforms that you can use in Adobe Audition itself. So we can either click the two buttons here to create either a new waveform file or a multi-track file, but we still can go into file, click new, and either create a new multi-track session or a new audio file. So I'm going to click new audio file here and it's going to prompt us to create a new audio file. Let's name it new audio file. And we can see the new audio file under the files panel here. Let's double click it. And this is the waveform editor. It's currently empty right now because we don't actually have any audio recorded. So let's record something together. Hey guys, this is Ted here. Welcome to the Adobe Audition tutorial. I hope you learned something new today. So that was our recording itself. Let's play it back. Hey guys, this is Ted here. Welcome to the Adobe Audition tutorial. I hope you learned something new today. That's not bad, but we do have some audio here that I don't really want, so I'm going to delete it. Now let's take a look at the revised version. Hey guys, this is Ted here. Welcome to the Adobe Audition tutorial. I hope you learned something new today. Ah, much better. Now we can also play around with this toggle to increase and decrease our volume. And there's one more thing I want to point out. When it comes to the uh, waveform editor itself, you can actually pull up this spectral audiogram. It looks a bit intimidating right now and we're not going to cover it. Just that if you actually see this, know that when you are more experienced with Adobe Audition, you can actually remove unwanted sounds from your audio recording and it's a really cool part of Adobe Audition. Just keep it away for now. We don't have to worry about it. Now, when it comes to the waveform editor, think of it as the editor that you should be using when you want to go and make changes to your audio files, when you want to go you know, very deep into each individual audio file and see what's really going on in the recording that you have made. Now, this is in contrast to the multi-track editor where you're actually going to be compiling different audio files into the multi-track session itself. So let's take a look at the multi-track session. We can actually create file, new, multi-track session. And let's name it new multi-track session. And there you go. So it's empty right now because we don't have any audio inputs. But what we can do is we can bring the new audio file that we created earlier on and click it and drag it into any of the tracks that we see. Now we can drag it and drop it into track one as so. So for example, if you're editing a podcast and you're the host, you can put all your dialogue into track one. And if you actually have maybe a guest or an interviewee, you can put all your audio in track two. And of course, if you have some music that you want to include into your podcast, you can put it in track three. Now we can very quickly edit the volume of each track by reducing the volume on this yellow line here. Just drag it down, about negative 10, that's quite good. Now one thing about the multi-track editor, because you're working multiple files as well, when you click play, you can actually play all these files simultaneously. Let's take a listen. Hey guys, this is Ted here. Welcome to the Adobe Audition tutorial. I hope you learned something new today. Hey guys, this is Ted here. Welcome to the Adobe Audition tutorial. I hope you learned something new today. Okay, so if we only want to listen to one specific file, for example, we can mute the rest. Just click the M button here and click play. Learn something new today. As you can see, the audio files from track two and three have been muted. Now, another way you can do this is to click S, which means solo, and therefore every other track that is not on the solo track will be muted as well. Let's take a listen. You learn something new today. So it works the same as muting the two other tracks. Now you also can click R if you want to record some new dialogue. Hey guys, this is Ted recording on the multi-track editor. How do I sound? Now let's take a listen. Hey guys, this is Ted recording on the multi-track editor. How do I sound? Okay, great. Now one more difference I want to point out between the waveform editor and the multi-track editor is that when you're making changes or edits to your audio files in the multi-track editor, it's considered non-destructive, i.e. non-permanent. But when you're making the changes to the waveform editor itself, it's considered destructive, i.e. permanent. So let's take a look. Let's delete all the files here for now and let's bring in two copies of the same new audio file that we created earlier on. So when we are actually making changes, let's say we delete this section of the new audio file on track one, you can see that the changes don't affect the same file on audio track two, even though they came from the same source. So that's non-destructive and that's a non-permanent form of editing. But if we went to the new audio file itself, let's double click it. And we actually made a change. 
and deleted this section of the new audio file. If we went back to the new multi-track session, you can see that whatever we deleted in the waveform editor is reflected all the way in each of the individual files that we put into track 1 and track 2 because they came from the same source. And if we dragged the new audio file that we created earlier into track 3, and you can see that the audio that we recorded earlier on in the new audio file is no longer available. So those were the differences that you should know between the waveform editor and the multi-track editor. Now that wasn't so bad, was it? Now here's a quick recap. We have just learned the difference between the waveform editor and the multi-track editor. So you're starting to understand what goes behind the interface for Adobe Audition. With that knowledge, you can start using Adobe Audition for your podcasting projects or any other musical projects that you have. Now I'd love to see you in future videos again. Please check out the rest of my channel right here.